you know, and mobility in general is going to be something that Langley is working on and is going to, is going to continue to advance work on autonomy is a big part of it. You know, and, and, and it includes, you know, point, point to point air travel uh, and, and, and personal air vehicles and the airspace that operates in them. I mean, you're seeing some of that already, right? So it is, it is the Jetsons. It's the Jetsons, right? Um, it drives me crazy, you know, we, because we accept a, a large number of people dying on the highways of our country every year. It's a, it's a large number of people, right? Um, and we just accept that as the cost of, of freedom, the freedom to be able to travel and move around. And I think, you know, with, with autonomy, first, you know, self-driving cars and, 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 and the right, the right you know, human interfaces, and then eventually, you know, using, going three-dimensional, right? Getting off the surface and used to going three-dimensional is gonna be where, and, and Langley, I think Langley and NASA is gonna be critical to be able to do that. And then in exploration, you know, being the space tech guy now, um, you know, David mentioned, mentioned a few things that Langley's critical to, and one of them is entry, descent, and landing, and, and all the, it, 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 and all the, everything that goes with that, because it's very multidisciplinary, right? It's aerosciences, it's materials, it's, you know, it's operations, it's autonomy, guidance, navigation, control, et cetera. So, uh, David said one to two metric tons on the surface. That's about what we can wring out of the, what the Viking guys did, right? Same plan form for the vehicle, same supersonic parachute, right? We, we innovated the terminal descent landing part. Um, but to land 20 metric tons, which is a dry ascent vehicle for a few crew to get them back home, because we already planned on a round trip, uh, at least now, for now. Um, you know, it's going to be it's going to be Langley and others to, to enable that, as well as other things that are to be able to basically extend human presence out into the solar system. Uh, and the and the goal being, you know, people exploring Mars in the 20 and hopefully in the 2030s. 